Hey there, YouTube. This is Vargas XX78 with yet another Tales from the Vargas Vault. Uh, just continuing my Superman collection, and this would be um, box two of the Superman run. Uh, contains issues of Superman, Adventures of Superman, Action Comics, and Man of Steel. So, we left off with Superman traveling through time, uh, and the story continues in, in Superman 54 fighting in Nazi Germany. Uh, I really like this crossover. It had it features Superman uh, traveling through time, and I'm a, a huge mark for time travel stories and alternate realities and so on. So it was cool to see Superman traveling through through, through the timeline. This is Adventures of 477. Uh, here he teams up with the Legion of Superheroes. Superman 55. Uh, in this one, he travels to... Uh, King Arthur's time, and he fights alongside Merlin and Etrigan the Demon. So that was cool. And we have Adventures 478, uh, once again traveling to the Legion of Superheroes timeline. Missing all the Action Comics one. Don't have those. And we have uh, Superman 56. Adventures 479 with a really cool uh, Andy Kubert cover. And we have Superman 57. Uh, this is when uh, the Eradicator uh, takes corporeal form and he wants to get rid of Superman and turn Earth into a new Krypton. So, yeah, the Eradicator would actually be a big character later on, and this is Adventures, uh, Adventures 480. Uh, the storyline concludes in an issue of Action Comics that I don't own. Then we jump to Superman 58. Hmm. And we have uh, Adventures 481. Catch the Death Train. But really, you want to catch that kind of train. And we have a really cool issue of Superman, issue 59. Um, this issue has Superman and Lewis Lane dealing with their relationship. What it's going to mean for Lewis Lane to be married to the Man of Steel and what's you know the risk involved that she could become a target. Really, really cool issue. And I really liked... Uh, the relationship between Lewis Lane and Clark Kent. Um, same way I liked the relationship between Mary Jane and Peter Parker. Uh, done well, you could write some really, really cool stories uh, in, in, with Superman and Spider-Man in marriage. So uh, that's the one thing I really hate about the New 52. But uh, they, they broke up Superman with Lewis Lane, and now Superman's going out with Wonder Woman. So I don't know. Uh, but this is Adventures 482 uh, with a fight against the Parasite. We got uh, Superman 60, uh, where Superman uh, takes down Intergang. And Adventures 483 fights an invisible man. Uh, 61, featuring Wave Rider uh, from the Armageddon Annual uh, crossover, and the Linear Man. And again, more time travel goodness. And we got uh, Adventures 484, uh, during one of the experiments of, the, of Emil Hamilton, uh, Superman gets amnesia. And we have Superman 62. And Adventures 485, where he gets his memory back. Superman 63, guest starring Aquaman. And uh, the return of Larry Lamaris, which was the mermaid that Superman fell in love with in issue, way back in issue 10. Uh, Adventures 486. Superman 64, 
They would do this from time to time. They would uh, throughout the Superman titles. They would have a special Christmas issue. Uh, they have one in Superman, and they have one in Adventures 487, and I'm sure they have one in Action Comics, but I don't have that issue. Moving on, we have uh, Superman 65 with the Panic in the, Scri in the Sky crossover. Uh, Brainiac takes control of War World, and um, he wants to invade Earth, so Superman rallies the troops to try to stop him. So uh, that continues in Adventures 488. And uh, Brainiac has uh, taken control of people like Draga, uh, Supergirl, and Maxima. So the, the stakes are really high for Superman and Metropolis. And we have Action 675. Superman 66, a darker look at that 65 issue cover where everyone is, you know, decimated, left in bones. And we have Adventures of 489, where the heroes, the heroes are triumphant against Brainiac. And we have Superman 67, an aftermath issue. We have Adventures for 90. Action 677. Supergirl is trying to deal with her role in the Panic in the Sky, and she's kind of confused, so she ends up with Lex Luthor 2. And we have Superman 68, featuring Deathstroke the Terminator. He was a good guy by this point in his. Uh, comic career, and we have Adventures 491 featuring Metallo. That was one of Superman's uh, recurring bad bad guys, and we have Action uh, 678. Uh, basically, what happened uh, if you saw the last video, Lex Luthor died, but it turns out that he faked his own death, cloned himself a younger body, and uh, his brain was still working. So. Uh, it was the same old Lex Luthor, just uh, in a younger body, and he actually uh, makes Supergirl fall in love with him, so... Yeah, and you can, can never get rid of Lex Luthor. And I like Lex Luthor the Industrialist a lot better than Lex Luthor the Mad Scientist. Uh, but here we have a really cool cover on Superman 69, with the red, red, white, and blue. We have Adventures uh, 492. We have uh, Superman 70, featuring Robin, um, and uh, they're fighting vampires. So, yeah, you can never go wrong with uh, Superman dealing with the supernatural, because he, he has a, a bad weakness with that, which uh, comes into the, the fray in Adventures 493, which has Superman involved in the Blaze Satanus War. Um, Lord Satanus was a demon lord, that was based in the Tropolis, Corlin, Corlin Thornton, uh, who was the owner of a um, uh, newspaper. Um, it was competing against the Daily Planet. So, uh, you know, he, he was uh, this really fat guy that was also a demon lord. So the storyline continues in issue 71. Probably concludes in action, but I don't have it. Uh, Adventures 494. They introduced this character called Kismet. They didn't really do that much with her. She came back later, much later into the comic books, but they didn't really do much with her. And we have Superman 72. I remember this being a controversial issue because Superman is dealing with his next door neighbors, but uh, the husband's beating on the wife, and Superman doesn't know what to do about that if he should get involved in anything. So. Uh, so yeah, that, that that was. I remember that being controversial. Then we have Adventures 495, featuring the Forever People. Then we have a Superman 73, a really trippy looking cover. 
again with Wave, Wave Rider and the Linear Men. In this issue, Wave Rider actually joins the Linear Men instead of being a rogue time traveler. And we have uh, Adventures 496 featuring Mr. Mixelquick. And then this is where things got really dark for the Superman uh, comic books because this is Superman 74 and this is uh, it features Doomsday and the Justice League. And of course, um, there, there a lot of people were hyping that Superman was going to die, and I was kind of upset that it was going to be it wasn't going to be through no, one of his normal worlds. It would be through this no name monster called Doomsday. But as the comic books progressed, uh, you could see that Doomsday was pretty badass. So, so yeah, I, I still couldn't believe that we're actually going ahead and and kill Superman. I mean, Superman's like the greatest uh, superhero ever. Well, as the story progressed in Adventures 497, and you would see Doomsday just cut loose and start causing all sorts of chaos. And Action 684. And then we conclude in Superman 75. And uh, this is the fourth printed printing of this, is because uh, this is the only one I could get. I think a lot prettier. Uh, versions of this are a really cool chrome one and one that's bagged and it has a whole bunch of extra goodies. But I still could not believe that Superman would die. And um I heard it this after this happened I heard it on the news uh, and I heard a lot of people got upset that they would kill Superman and I was one of them. I was upset that they would kill Superman. But uh as a comic book fan, even if they kill a character or make some sort of big change, I, I still stick with the character. So, and they made some really good stories, and Chuck um, is in a funeral for a friend. Uh, this is Adventures 498, a really haunting cover there of Superman lying dead. And um, continuing at Action 685, uh, recreating the, action, the first issue of Action Comics, but with Supergirl in the cover. And we have Man of Steel 20. I don't have a lot of Man of Steel issues, but I picked this one up because of a, you know, for a friend crossover. And I'm going to get all of the reign of the Superman books I'm missing. And a few more for a friend. Uh, this is Superman 76. Beautiful cover there. Uh, really, really, really cool. I love this cover of Batman there. Uh, really cool cover. And we have issue 499 of Adventures. We have Action uh, 686. And we have Man of Steel 21, where Jonathan Kent has a heart attack. He can't deal with Clark being dead and all the things that are happening with his body. And another beautiful cover, uh, Superman 77. Superman uh, flying off into, into heaven or whatever. Uh, I remember I drew this once when I was in uh, in school, and uh, really, really cool cover. And uh, uh, things uh, blew up in uh, uh, Adventures 500. Uh, Jonathan Kent uh, is in like, he, he's not in heaven, he's kind of like in, in, in between Lenoir and heaven, and he meets uh, Satanus, I, I think he meets Blaze, I think the Phantom Stranger is also in this. Basically, he goes into limbo and he finds uh, Superman's soul. So he convinces Superman to go back with him. So Jonathan Kent has a near-death experience that lets him bring back Superman. And by the end of the issue, you introduce to four new Supermen. <coughs> uh, Man of Steel, which is John Henry Irons. Um, the Cyborg Superman, which was revealed to be uh, Hank Henshaw. Uh, the Shade Superman, which is the Eradicator, and Superboy, which is a clone of Superman made by Cadmus. So what they would do is that, for example, in uh, Action uh, 687, you have this uh, cover that would uh, have the Superman symbol, and you would open the page up, and you would see an image of the uh, Superman in question. Each Superman featured in uh, each one of the four Superman titles. Uh, this was the Shade Superman, which was the Eradicator. And then Superman 78 had uh, the Cyborg Superman. Adventures 501 had Superboy. And the one I'm missing is Man of Steel, and it had John Henry Irons. We have 
action uh, 688. We have uh, Guy Gardner going after Shade Superman. And Superman 79 had uh, the Cyborg Superman uh, saving the president. Adventures 502 had Supergirl meeting Superboy because Lex Luthor wants him under his control. <coughs> Action 689 has a very cool, um, very interesting spoof because it says, Who watches the Superman? Uh, like, you know, who watches the Watchmen? And then uh, things hit the fan in Superman 80 because it's revealed that the Cyborg Superman is a bad guy and he destroys Coast City which is a big deal because this has also affected Green Lantern. This is actually the event, the destruction of Coast City, that led him to become Parallax. So big, big, big milestone issue here. <coughs> and the Cyborg Superman flames uh, the Eradicator. And, um, and people believe he's the bad guy. So but in Adventures 503, uh, Cyborg Superman takes out Superboy. Action 690, everyone thinks the Eradicator is the, a villain, so they go after him. <coughs> and uh, Man of Steel had the return in Super Man, uh, Man of Steel 25, so I don't have that one, but it continues in 81 with the return of the true Superman. Uh, Clark Kent's revived, but he's powerless. And Adventures 504 has all the Superman family uh, trying to stop Mongol and... Uh, the Cyborg Superman. Then we have Action 691. I have two of these. I have a Superman 82, which is the conclusion to the reign of the Superman. So I have the regular cover, which I bought first, and then at a convention, I picked up the Chrome cover. It cost me a dollar, and I, I can pass it up. It's a kick-ass cover. So I picked that up. Uh, same thing happened with uh, Adventures 505. This is a regular cover I have, but I know there's uh, another chrome cover. It has the same Superman image, but it's got like uh, chrome fireworks surrounding him instead of Metropolis. So I want to track that one down. And we have Action uh, 692. And an epilogue for a funeral for a friend where the heroes travel to Coast City. And Lex Luthor 2 is trying to get his hands on some more kryptonite. And Adventures 506 has Superman fighting against Superboy in an epilogue and a lead off to his uh, regular series. Superboy got his own regular series. And another epilogue for uh, the Eradicator in Action 693. And we have a very Dark uh, issue, uh, not a controversial issue, because they did something with the Toy Man in Superman 84, where uh, the Toy Man starts kidnapping kids, and he ends up killing the son of Cat Grant. Uh, so that storyline was really dark. They took the Toy Man into a really, really bad place. So, yeah, that wasn't cool. Uh, Adventures 507, featuring uh, Bloodsport 2. So the first Bloodsport was a, a, a military uh, guy, and this one's just a racist. So, And we have Superman 85 with Cat Grant trying to look for revenge. And we have Adventures 508, which features the Challengers of the Unknown. And the reason for this, why it should be chrome, but this is Action 695. It's a chrome cover against a no name villain, but it has an appearance by Lobo. And uh, in Superman 86, Superman is lost in space again. So he's there. Uh, Adventures 509. And we have uh, Action 696. And when he returns to Earth, uh, it's revealed that Lex Luthor 2, his clone body is uh, wasting away uh, for some reason. So he wants to find a cure for himself, so he brings back the Bizarro clone in Superman 87. And of course, the Bizarro clone uh, goes on a rampage. And what I liked about this crossover is the titles were inverted, you know, like, like the Bizarro 
So this is Adventures 510, Action uh, 697, and Superman 88. And we have Adventures 511, Action 698. Also, when Superman returned, he got supercharged, so his body is like, um, he can't contain his powers, basically. He's uh, supercharged so much that in uh, Superman 89, he mutates into this giant Hulk-like thing, uh, and his body's about to burst. But he's able to fix that thanks to the parasite in Adventures 512. The parasite takes away some of its excess energy, and he mutates even more, looking like, um, like a leech creature. Um, Superman 699. Oh, during all of this, uh, Lex Luthor is trying to find a cure for his uh, wasting away. So he, he starts up a war with Katniss and the uh, SDU, and Superman stuck in the middle. Uh, this is Superman 90. Uh, all the clones are also dying, and they find a cure thanks to uh, the Guardian in Adventures 513. But Everything, Metropolis, Katniss, everything gets destroyed in Super, uh, Action 700, the big anniversary issue. I've never seen an alternate cover for this. I don't know if they released a chrome cover for this, but Metropolis is destroyed. Lex Luthor is left in a vegetative state. Uh, this is uh, Superman 91, and Superman has to deal with uh, all the uh, doomsday fail saves that Lex Luthor created. Uh, Adventures 514. Uh, action 701. So, yeah, then um, they introduce this character called Massacre in Superman 92. Uh, basically, like this gladiator, gladiator guy that was always looking for a good fight, and he they kind of tried to make him look like Doomsday, but it didn't work out that way. This is Adventures 515. Then DC uh, tried to uh, do a crisis kind of event, but with messing up with time called Zero Hour, and it would reintroduce, like, alternate versions of characters or mess up with the timeline, and I like that crossover. Uh, this is Man of Steel 37, where Superman meets up with a lot of different versions of Batman, which is why I picked this one up. And uh, Superman 93, he meets up with Joel and Lara. Adventures 516 has him meet up with a guy called the uh, Alpha Centurion. Superman doesn't exist. The hero of Metropolis is this guy. They're going to release some really cool... This is by far the best one. This is uh, Superman Zero. And DC would do this again within the New 32, but this cover is badass. We have Adventures of Superman Zero and Action Comics Zero. And then we introduced this character called Conduit, and I really liked Conduit. Uh, he, he was this guy that uh, hated Clark Kent uh, because he thought he, he Clark Kent ruined his life. And uh, but uh, then he discovered that Superman uh, and Clark Kent are, are, are the same guy, so he goes after Clark Kent and his family. Really, really cool character, which they killed off, unfortunately. And we have Superman '94, the start of the Dead Again storyline. Uh, during his fight with Conduit, they discover a Superman body in the tomb of his crypt. So everyone starts thinking that Superman is a fake. And we have Adventures 517. Action 704. And Superman's trying to look for answer or answers on to why there's this fake Superman body. Uh, 90, Superman 95 has him traveling to New Genesis where they have uh, Brainiac hold up after Panic in the Sky. And we have Adventures 518, uh, which has Superman traveling to Apocalypse. And we have Superman 96, where Superman's ha having these uh, delusions and he's finding people like Supergirl and Doomsday and everyone. And it's revealed that the mind behind the whole thing is Brainiac. But yeah, basically took control of everyone's mind and made them hallucinate the Superman body. And we have Superman 97, Superman fighting off against the ninja. 
Adventures 520. There are all the B-list super villains uh, try to rob Metropolis, and Superman has to stop them. Uh, Superman 98. Adventures 521, featuring the return of Thorn. And Superman 99. Adventures 522, which deals with the reconstruction of Metropolis. All the heroes are able to um, wish Metropolis into being fixed again, thanks uh, to Satana. Then we have a, look, a retake on an old cover, Action uh, 709, which has uh, Guy Gardner Warrior uh, going off against Stoops. Then we have uh, issue 100 of Superman featuring the death of Clark Kent. Uh, Conduit uh, re uh, figures out that Clark Kent and Superman are the same guy, so he goes after uh, Clark Kent's family. So uh, Superman ditches the Clark Kent personality for a while. This is Adventures 523. Action 710. Superman 101. Adventures 724. And everything ends in Super Action 711, where they kill Conduit, which was a big, big mistake. But Superman didn't return to his Clark Kent identity yet. He travels to Fawcett City and fights Captain Marvel in Superman 102. And then finally returns in Adventures 525. And we have Superman 103. Lose this character, they did nothing with him. Adventures of 526 has the two blood, blood sports going after each other. Superman 1 and 4 has the aftermath of. Uh, this is after Superman Doomsday Hunter Prey, where it has, uh, you know, the aftermath of the Cyborg Superman and Darkseid. Then uh, Adventures. 527 has the return of the Alpha Centurion. 10, Superman 105 has a crossover with Kyle Reiner, the uh, Green Lantern. Uh, Adventures 528. And they did this thing where uh, this alien tribunal um, captured Superman and he was going to be put on trial for the destruction of Krypton for some messed up reason. So there's Superman 106. Adventures 529 has the Superman family going after Superman to try and save them. 107 reveals that the Alpha Centurion was really the cyborg, the cyborg Superman, that came to uh, wreak havoc on everyone. And we have Adventures 530. And it ends in Superman 108. And it has his return in Adventures 531. We have Superman 109. Adventures 532, which features the return of Lori Lamar Lamaris, which uh, kind of love triangle there between Superman and Lewis Lane, and Action 719, which has a really cool Joker story featuring Batman. Yeah, that's the end of box two of my Superman collection. Uh, thank you so much to everyone that, that watched this half-hour-long video. Uh, again, uh, please leave a comment. And until I see you all again, this is Vargas XX78. Signing off.